Well, hello everyone. This is Wilson Cole. I'm president of Adams, Evans, and Ross and Backdoor Hiring Solutions. And I know you guys have seen videos whenever I say, you know, if a client tells you they're not going to pay, you need to stop talking. And I know you guys have probably seen the same videos where I say, if it's an attorney that you're talking to, you really need to stop talking. And I just had to talk to a client to let them know that five or six months ago, they totally obliterated their, their claim because they didn't realize what the attorney was doing to them. You know, kind of a general overview, and, and we've seen this before, but this one is, is just more specific. Client disputes what they're going to pay you, and uh, you guys are going back and forth, and they say, hey, we're not going to pay you. Now, the litmus test that I utilize is whenever they say they're not going to pay you, it doesn't matter what follows after that. You just need to stop talking to them. But they got their attorney involved, and their attorney sent over a letter to them that basically says, we don't feel like you're owed a dime, but we're sending you, because you did probably have some expenses, we're going to send you over a few grand. It was minimal. It was you know, certainly less than 10%. And it was to recover some expenses that were actually spent. Our client received the check. They didn't sign anything. They received the check that came along with that letter, and they deposited the check. Four or five months later passes, they haven't been able to get it resolved. They turn it over to us. We reach out to them, and uh, our staff attorney reaches out to them, and the debtor's attorney basically says, why are you calling me? This was settled back, you know, in last year, winter of last year. And it's one of those scenarios when they deposited that check, they compromise the claim. Now, we could send it out and say, oh, no, 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 that's not what, what happened. They were just making a payment. Chances of them winning are pretty slim. But now the debtor could have a much easier path to counter sue the client. And, you know, with, with suit, it's all handled on a contingency basis. Our clients don't pay anything outside of court costs unless it's uh, collected with one very big exclusion. If there's a countersuit, it doesn't happen often, about 1% a year. Uh, one of our, or three of our clients out of about 400 lawsuits gets countersued. Two of them we see coming a mile away. One of them pops up out of the heavens, but this is where some of those countersuits happen. So they totally took something that was so very clearly owed per the agreement. They had a signed agreement. It was spotless. It basically said you owe us X, if you, if you hire them, they did, but then they processed a check and continued to talk with the attorney through this and just totally obliterated their claim. So the safest thing to do is if a debtor tells you that they're not going to pay you, just simply stop talking to them. Get us involved, get your local attorney involved, but, but don't talk to them. If they have an attorney on on that email or is the one that's actually reaching out to you, do not, because that attorney is not involved to try to do the right thing and get you paid. They are bu building a defense or creating a defense on why you're not owed. So if you'd like to set up a time to talk with myself or one of our staff attorneys, visit our website at staffingdebt.com and uh, get your 30-minute free consultation to discuss the specifics of your issue. But I can't stress enough, if, if somebody tells you that they're not going to pay, don't talk to them. Either get us involved, get your local attorney involved, but any communication that you have with them after that fact, it ends up too many times like the description that I just gave you. Hey guys, it's Wilson again, and this video was brought to you by Adams, Evans, and Ross. And if you like the video, please make sure that you click on the subscribe button and also like the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those below as well. If you'd like to learn more about our company, please visit our website at staffingdebt.com. And also remember, if there's no collection, there's absolutely no cost at all.